Hey cheaters, here's a quick tutorial on how to set up our new no-code project management interface to manage your own team of AI agents in parallel, just like a team of engineers or software developers or researchers to help you automate your business and distill your deep industry insight to build custom agents to accelerate your business. So Cheat Layer is actually the first and only no-code uh, agents management platform which allows you to manage a team of agents just like a project management interface which means it makes it much easier for you to immediately build useful AI agents for your business in simple language rather than having to be like a Python developer or um, having to have a lot of um, know a lot of uh, technical knowledge yourself you can solve these problems and help uh, agents solve roadblocks entirely in simple language with unique features that we have, for example, editing tasks, giving them contacts, getting real-time results, um, and allowing, allowing you to iterate agents with your deep industry insight. You can now even email agents directly so you can quickly set up GPT-4 powered autoresponders for sales, support, and personal assistance entirely in simple language by just describing what you want them to do. You can trigger agents from webhooks so that you can have other services instantly trigger your agents with custom context to perform your work for you in parallel, your mundane, rote, daily tasks. And you can do all this training entirely in simple language because all our users have access to all the building blocks in simple phrases. To give agents long-term, secure, persistent memory, each user will set up something called Supabase, which is basically a no-code, free, open-source database that you can host yourself that allows you to maintain and build all that deep business knowledge from your agents over time so that they improve themselves over time. So they have something access to something called a vector database, which allows them to store embeddings from OpenAI, which basically makes it very easy to compare conversations, text, words, any outputs they've generated using numbers rather than words. And this allows you to very quickly calculate distances and essentially allows these agents to learn over time implicitly what certain things are, certain ideas are. For example, like high converting copy as you record those conversions to your business, which means that you will uniquely have an agent that'll grow and learn on its own to how to convert customers to just your business that no other user will have and this will grow over time and this will also grow in value over time which means you'll be able to take this data set to each new language model that comes out in the future which is really exciting for us okay so let me just quickly go over the setup in Supabase and show you how to set up your own agents so first you want to go to the agents management dashboard you can access this from the cheat layer dashboard click launch agents dashboard and we are going to want to set up our agent settings. So click agent settings that's been installed there. Next, we're going to install Supabase. So log into your free Supabase account using GitHub. And then create a new project. We call it agents data. Generate a password. And then wait while this generates. This will take a few minutes. Once it's set up, you'll be presented with this dashboard. You want to click on the SQL editor on the left-hand side, and then new query, new blank query, and go back to the dashboard and click settings, agent settings. And down here, we'll have all the config file that we need that'll set everything up for us. So just copy everything here, go back here, and then click run. All right, at the bottom, it'll say success, no rows returned. And that'll set up our table for us. If you go back to the table, you'll see something called agent CRM and then agents data, and this will have one value here. Okay, great. Now go to the settings and then click API. Okay, we're gonna copy our super base URL, go back to our dashboard, click agent settings, set super base URL, and click OK. And then we're gonna copy our super base API key, go back to our dashboard. Agent settings, add Supabase API key, click OK. And then once it's loaded again, we'll actually have a Supabase linked, and this will show us that we're connected to Supabase. Okay, now that we've verified that everything is connected, we're going to launch an agent just to verify that it's storing data. So launch the research agent and then enable it. And it's going to perform scientific research on the latest papers in GPT 4.
and it's completed its task and now it's going to move on to the next task but it's also stored this data in Supabase and we can verify that if we go back to our agents data and click on the agents data table you'll see that it's storing the data here in fact the next agent will also store data here when it finishes its work okay pretty neat so next we're going to show you how to set up the sales agent if you scroll down and click deploy on the autonomous sales agent v3 this will add the template for the sales agent for you in the sales agent we have two tasks one that sends the personalized outbound from a google sheet csv and then one that auto responds down here you can edit these tasks yourself to have them respond in custom ways in simple language just like your personal assistant and you can see how I created our own custom responder for two use cases where customers might be responding in either uh, might be exp um, ex in interested in either a demo video or an actual live demo and in that case we send them a Calendly link to do this in Gmail copy the agent email forwarding address and then click add forwarding address and if you want to email the first agent, you start from counting from zero, so it's agent zero. And if you want to email the second task, it's task one. That's how you email any agent and task in your agent's dashboard. And then click next, click proceed, and click OK. And now Cheat Layer is going to pop up with a new window as soon as you do that, which will give you the verification email link. So copy this URL. And it might pop up with another email. You can close that. Then they'll try to auto respond to that. Copy this URL. And then go to a new window, paste it in, and click confirm. And now I'm connected to send forward all my emails from this uh, um, email domain to my agent. So now this agent will handle all the incoming emails and auto respond for me based on the rules that I set in simple language here. So, for example, I could you could set your own Calendly link, your own demo video, or basically distill all the deep industry insight you've had or everything that your own personal assistant used to do. Okay, great. So now that's how to automate and create uh, GPT-powered autoresponders very quickly in simple language in basically minutes. That's very easy to do. Now this is how to set up the personalized outbound. And here we go. Look, it, uh, it's already trying to respond to my <laughs> uh, confirmation request. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to set up the personalized outbound with my lead list, which you can generate from any database like Apollo.io, or you can actually create agents to scrape these leads for you. So I'm going to click share, publish to web, and generate a CSV URL that our agent can use. Copy. We're going to go back to our agent. And this is how you edit tasks. Editing tasks is actually very powerful because it's the most effective and useful way to build actually valuable agents for your business. I'm not sure if any other agent management system, Auto GPD, even allows you to edit tasks, but it's been the most effective way for me to build actually functional agents. Because at a high level, we can train these agents to solve roadblocks in the system, is um, in the system prompts, but uh, this is editing tasks is basically the only path for users to help them solve these roadblocks by just basically telling them what to do in simple language. So here I'm going to edit the task and put in my own CSV. And we're good to go. We're going to enable the agent. It's now going to pull up that Google Sheet CSV generate my personal outbound message, loop through them about once every 10 seconds just for this demo. I recommend using 60 seconds when you run this yourself. That's about the rate that you'll be able to do um, consistently with Gmail daily without having to run into rate limit issues or deliverability issues. Uh, one every minute will send about a few hundred a day. Okay, and then now it's gonna pull up the CSV it's going to loop through the CSV slowly, parse each contact, get the context of each contact, and then generate a personalized email for each contact on the list.
So it actually, uh, in the CSV and my Google Sheet, uh, we also scraped the the context of the person. So we have details on these um, partners that we want to partner with, basically. And so it's actually using the context of the website of the person, the details from the website of the person, to build a personalized message and send that. Um, see, each one of these messages is different. It's based on their actual um, persona. And send a personalized outbound message. But it does more than just personalized outbound, so I'm just going to stop this now. Uh, if we go back to our um, uh, agent database and our CRM, we can see that it's now storing every conversation in this vector database as a CRM, which means it can do several magical things. It can maintain conversations for hundreds of thousands of leads in parallel for you uh, completely automatically. So anytime anyone auto responds from one of these email addresses, it knows the full history of the chat. It's able to build up, bring back the full history of the email history. But also by doing this in a vector database, it's implicitly able to learn things like what high converting copy is as you record that data. Even as it's, it's itself seeing successful responses from customers, it's able to learn itself what customers expect, uh, what is working well, and things like that. So you can eventually ask questions against this data. So this data that you're growing in your super base is valuable for your business, just like a CRM would be valuable for your business. This is the next generation AI CRM that will be growing much more data, much faster, and will be able to bring you deep insights that weren't previously possible to automate your business using a team of AI agents. And this isn't applicable just to sales. This now works for every type of agent. So any type of deep industry data that you can gather by running these agents, every time you run them, even if they fail, they learn. And they store that learning in this valuable growing data set that you can bring to every new language model that comes out. If GPT-5 comes out, you can bring this ve vector database there and you'll immediately have a useful storage of data for your business. Exciting stuff. All right, guys, let me know what you discover, what agents you build, and click share agents if you uh, come up with any useful, interesting, uh, valuable agents for your business. This is a completely new dashboard, so I'm sure there might be some bugs or roadblocks. If you run into any roadblocks with agents not being able to complete the task, we can train them in simple language. So let us know, let the live chat support know, uh, or drop it in the Discord, and then we'll be able to iterate these agents together and train them like employees and build this community data set of teams of AI agents that we can deploy for our business. Super exciting stuff. All right. Thank you guys.